guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my quick keto update. Um, you might have noticed that last week I didn't manage to get my update up on YouTube and the only reason is, well I have a couple of reasons but basically my phone didn't want to upload it so I gave up trying by Thursday because I tried every single day and it just wouldn't go up. So I just deleted that and figured that I'd throw them together into one video because my weeks have kind of rolled into one anyway. The two weeks have rolled into one anyway. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, from the last video that you saw, <laughs> I had done a challenge where I went dirty and lazy keto. And that went okay. As you saw, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't gain any weight from what I remember. Or I might have gained a pound. I can't remember off the top of my head, to be totally honest. And I haven't really prepared for this very well. Purely because I'm trying to get this video out whilst my partner is putting the kids down. I've put the baby down, he's putting the toddler down, his game's still on the background, the laundry is ready for me to go through it, so it's a little bit crazy at the moment. So I'm trying to throw this out real quick. <laughs> As you know, my quick keto updates are always like trying to throw them out there, so I'm sorry that they're always such poor quality, but I promise you, when I have some money, I am going to get a decent camera and I am going to be able to do decent videos, finally. And I might be able to get some editing software as well, finally. Anyway, so since I did that, I have to admit, I would not rec Oh God, I'm steaming up. I wouldn't recommend to most of you to do the Dirty Lazy Keto until you're 100% sure that you are ready to do it. Now, I did it for me as a challenge for a week because people were concerned about my mental health towards my diet, basically. I mean, it's a big thing, but that's the basic gist of it. Now, the problem is that when I stopped it, I have seriously struggled to get back in tra back on track with tracking everything that I'm eating, putting it into my card manager, which is the app I use. You use whatever you want to use, but personally, I find it easier because I just put all my own stuff in and check all the my food section that was a weird random noise um so yeah I, ha I I really struggled to get that back and to be totally honest I didn't actually get back into it fully until Thursday just gone so nearly two weeks it's taken me to recover from that um I will admit that I have lost weight so I am going to start actually telling you my weights now which I'm not happy about because I'm not being funny but uh I still got such a long way to go but I have now lost 34 pound as far as I know my math is terrible but I've gone from 312 was my start weight post baby now when I was pregnant I got up like 30 pound more than that so I count that 30 pounds as my baby weight and since then I've lost 34 pounds don't ask me to calculate it, my brain isn't ready for that. <laughs> but now I am down to 279, 278, somewhere around there. I think I'm 278. I'm pretty sure I'm 278 now, anyway. <laughs> you can just see how my brain works. It doesn't, okay? Just get used to that because that's how my life is right now. And especially with lockdown, it's just like insane. Um yeah, so today I actually tried to do an egg fast today only because I want to give it a test to see how I feel when doing an egg fast because we picked up loads of eggs. Like, periodically we picked up loads of eggs, but I just happened to have not eaten them last week. Um, so they've accumulated and now I've got enough eggs to be able to do a proper egg fast. I've done today as a trial because tomorrow we already have plans for what we're eating tomorrow and we don't want things to go off. So we kind of need to eat that which, you know, is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying the egg fast today. And to be honest, it's gone really well. Um, I did put it into my carb manager and I was shocked at how many calories are actually in this egg fast. But they haven't gone even to 2,000. But for me, it's gone quite high because I have like a 1,500 calorie limit on normal terms. And I think I hit like 1,750 or something today, which shocked me. Um, <laughs> because I feel like I've eaten not loads more than my normal, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, I'm rambling really, like, a lot today because I really don't know what I'm saying. I haven't got my list or anything with me, so I'm just, like, throwing it out there. Um, word vomit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my life story right now. Um, 
my tip for the week because I forgot that I normally do a tip of the week is probably to keep some of your old clothes now this sounds like a bit of a weird one but I even now and I probably will be in another hundred pounds I hate my photo being taken I always have I always will and I hate the idea of it being in storage and the reason for that in short is that in my past someone hacked my webcam took pictures of me changing and passed it around in short long story I was very young um don't read into it I'm not going to give any more detail about it because it's just like something that's in my past and I don't really care about it anymore because I mean you're not going to find it now I've tried to find it myself and I can't find it anywhere so it's gone wherever it's gone it's disappeared um but I don't like taking pictures of myself anyway so what I'm doing is something that I learned actually when I did Slimming World a few years ago is that if you keep some clothes that either you remember looking good in or you remember being very slightly tight for you before you started your journey so when you were at your biggest keep those clothes or at least one or two items so I'll probably take like a pair of trousers and a top or even some underwear I have no idea what but I'll keep something <laughs> didn't you love this I love this Mwah, my baby she's my baby um but I'm gonna <laughs> sorry I'm all over the place today I am going to be keeping a couple of items of clothing and the basic idea is that as you're losing weight, because I personally, if I put a picture of me at £200 and a picture of me at £300 next to each other, I genuinely physically cannot see a difference and it sounds really strange but I really, really can't. I look at pictures of myself smaller and bigger and I always see myself as an elephant in short. Um, you've walked in the room. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's there. <laughs> so, yeah, I always feel like an elephant. And when the idea of it is, is that if I keep my bigger clothes and I try them on when I am a lot smaller, I'll notice that difference more than if I looked at pictures because I ne I've never been able to see my weight loss. I've done Lipitrim before, um, which is a liquid diet that I do not recommend, so please don't just don't go there that's another long story that is for a different video somewhere else that is not going to be on my channel hopefully <laughs> you never know I might get bored and throw that in there um but yeah when I lost the weight then I went from a size 18 to 20 UK size down to a size 12 UK size and honest to god I still couldn't see a difference between them and no like people say like they feel encouraged when people are like oh my god you've lost so much weight you look amazing and everything but because I did it with my mum and she lost a lot more than me and I love you to pieces mum you know I do but she lost a lot more than me so everyone always focused on her weight loss and no one ever said a single word to me about mine and like I don't mean it in a selfish way because I was the same. I always focused on my mum's weight loss more than mine because I didn't really care that much about my weight loss. I was more focused on her because like, it's what she wanted to do. And I was that kind of person when I was younger. When I was a teenager, I was the kind of person who would be more proud and happy if someone else achieved something than my own achievements. If I reached my goal weight, I'd kind of be like, cool, got there. My mum reached my goal weight, I'd be like, party! I'd be like so excited, I'd be bragging to everyone, like, my mum's finally got to here, and I'd be so excited about it, and I just didn't care about my own. Um, but because of that, I didn't kind of have anything to tell me that I'd lost this weight. I looked in a mirror, I didn't see any difference. I look at photos, I didn't see any difference. Now I look back, I do see a bit of a difference, but this is like 10 years on, so... You know, 10 years for me to notice a difference just isn't enough for me, really. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't know what you're going to do. Let me know your recommendations. If you're not into taking photos of yourself or weighing yourself, which I do weigh myself, if you're not into measuring, whatever, any of the ways that you feel better about yourself losing your weight, any ways that you notice it more yourself personally, let me know in the comments down below. Um, there's not really much else to say because, as I said, I've thrown this all together and smashed it into a lovely video for you, which is really terrible and I'm really sorry, but I'm going to throw it in there anyway. Because, as I say, this is my way of tracking. At the moment, I have almost, well, very few subscribers. Not none, but I have very few subscribers, even though I love you all so much so far. 
I do hope to get more. But at the moment, this is more focused on me tracking my own weight loss. And just to kind of let you know how I'm doing as a realistic mum of two who has been on the yo-yo lifestyle forever. And my maximum weight, not including pregnancy, is 312 pounds. So, you know, I've got a long way to go and I've come so far, so far. I said that twice. <laughs> I've come so far already. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, comment and subscribe down below as you normally would. I love you all. Stay healthy. Stay home. Not for much longer, we hope. To a point. And stay safe. I love you all. Bye, guys.